Hey Internet, Big Al here. Uh, I want to show you um, how to do some dynamic input drafting, okay, using dynamics. The dynamics button usually is on when you turn on your machine. Um, it's, it's a very powerful tool, not necessarily for what you're doing now, but it's a very powerful tool. Okay, before I show you the dynamics key, I'm going to turn it off. Okay, and I'm going to turn on ortho. Okay, now I'm going to come up here, I'm going to pick up line, and someplace over here I'm going to click, left click, I'm going to say 5 inches, good. Then I'm going to change 90 degrees, because it's an ortho, I just give it direction and it automatically jumps there. And I'm going to say 2 inches, I'm going to change this direction, 5 inches, or five units and then I'm going to change it again I'm going to say to enter enter there it is you want to see it in combination with dynamics okay we'll turn on dynamics and let's do another line okay so in this case we'll click right here click okay and we will say five enter and two enter and five enter and to enter enter okay so you see the difference with dynamics it gives you all of that ready data to use now I'm going to turn off ortho just for the heck of it I'm going to stay on dynamics I'm going to show you how dynamics drafts by itself we're over here with no commands lit up I'm just going to come right over here and I'm going to say I'm going to type watch the crosshairs now watch my cursor I'm going to type line L I N E see it line enter okay in the first long window you see what the command is okay the second window is light blue baby blue it tells you the length of the x-axis and the next box shows you the length of the y-axis when that represented the position of the cursor when I typed enter for line okay alright now this is what I want to do my first point I'm going to say is for instance three I'm going to hit the tab. Tab 2. Enter. See what happened? It lo it put me right in this position right here. Locked me into that position. Okay, now I'm going to make the box. I'm going to make a box. Okay, how do you do it? I feed in the value first. 5. Tab 0 degrees. Enter. There it is. Okay, now I'm going to feed the value in again okay and basically I'm going to say 2 tab 90 there it is okay and now I'm going to come this way so if this is 0 90 this has to be 180 right now I'm going to go uh, 5 tab 180 And if that, that's 0, 90, 180, and this has to be 270, right? So I type in 2, tab, 270, and if I did it right, bloop, we close the box, enter, enter, and that's the power of dynamics, okay? Don't worry about it too much right now, but it is a very powerful tool that you can use pretty soon.